We are about to head off to the library and I thought I would do a little bit of a fit check because I like my outfit. Love my shoes, but they keep slipping off the back of my feet. So I'm a little bit mad about that, but. These shoes, nasty and cute they are. Because it's a little out of my comfort zone, so I was a little bit like, nah, I'm not gonna wear it. But Asha told me she loves my pants, so I have to wear them. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. So I figured I would show you guys what books I got. I got a variety of stuff. First, I got A Dowry of Blood, which I have the sample for it on my Kindle. Actually, I don't know if this is on Kindle Unlimited. I know that I either downloaded it through Kindle Unlimited or I got the sample. I remember, but I just knew that I wanted to read it, so I picked it up. It sounds interesting. It's called Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca. A high-powered attorney from a success-oriented family, Lulu Malone lives to work and then she learns about Ren Fairs. I love Ren Fairs, so <laughs> I thought I would try that out. I have a buddy read that I'm doing with the buddy read group that I read with last time. We're gonna read, I honestly don't remember the name. I'll put it here. And we're gonna start that on Monday. So I just want like some short little reads or something. And then I picked up Lightfall, The Girl in the Galdurian, which I found it in the children's section, but that's okay. It looks like a really cute, cozy graphic novel. I have not read a graphic novel in a really long time, but this one just looked real cute and cozy and I thought that would be a really fun read. So we'll see. And then lastly, I got Heartstopper Volume 1 and Volume 2. I've never read this and I hear about it everywhere all the time. So I just knew that I needed to pick it up and read it. I saw, what is it, Fairy Loot? One of those special edition boxes it just released like a Volume 3 that had a misprint. And so I've been seeing everybody read them. And I just wanted to join the party. at my oldest and I'm thinking about doing my sourdough because I have my starter and I've never used it before so I need to test it and make sure that it's okay and I've read that the way that to test it some water and take a scoop of it and see if it floats It floats. That means I can make sourdough with it now. Mm -mm -mm. How do I make sourdough bread? I've been doing this starter for like a month. And now, well, <laughs> just open up my TikTok. I went to high school with this guy. That's crazy. That's a Sony Pictures uh, ad. And I went to high school with him. <laughs> he literally just opened my phone. That's so weird. I used to do the lights. He was always the main like the main star for the musicals and I was the, the light person. Weird. <laughs> I was looking for a sourdough recipe. First you're gonna want a sourdough starter. Yeah. You can either buy one, grow one yourself, or have somebody share one with you. So I'm gonna get a third cup in here. Feed that again, I think. A cup and three fourths of warm water. I don't have bread flour. I'm just gonna use unpurposed. Unpurposed, all purpose, unbleached. This is my bread flour. And that's all I've got. I'm gonna mix this up. I don't know why I'm using my KitchenAid mixer, my bowl, but I didn't think to use my mixer. So we're gonna go switch to the mixer. 
said just for a little bit until it forms a dough. So. so this is the consistency, pretty stretchy. Um, she says to cover it with a damp tea towel for 30 minutes. Um, and just let it sit, so I'm gonna do that. Look at how lush it is getting outside already. We need to cut the grass so bad. And the garden beds are kind of hidden in all the weeds. I definitely need to get out there at some point. Things are starting to grow and take off. We don't have like big, tall wooden fences. Uh, we have short little wire fence. In the springtime when everything grows, I love it because then nobody can see into our backyard on those sides. Mother Nature's privacy fence. Love it. Tonight, I have a friend coming over because he wants me to cut his hair, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make some thinga for dinner. Yeah. Yes, honey. It's it's pretty crazy how much I'm relating to Charlie, even like at this age. I was a lot like him, overthinking, overanalyzing a lot of things. And even if people were nice to me, I was like, why are they being nice to me? They have to have some sort of ulterior motive. I'm not somebody that's good enough for somebody to be nice to or talk to. Um, and I often let people use me in relationships and situations just because there were friendships and situations that I had put myself in just because it was the only sort of friendships and relationships that I had at the moment. I figured that any sort of friendship that I had, I could have was better than none. And so I didn't respect myself or my boundaries or really stick up for myself in that. And so I really, really, uh, empathize and relate with him on that situation. Miss Sings, speaking straight facts. We can't tell whether people are gay or by what they look like, and gay or straight aren't the only two options. Anyways, it's very rude to speculate about people's sexuality. Get him, sis. His face is just so precious. I can't. Okay, I just finished that. Super cute, but also rip my heart out, why don't you? with the last two pages, okay? Good thing I got volume two, <laughs> also, at the library. Before January 4th, oh, this one's God Killer. I'm really excited to see the edition of this because I think what the edition is stunning. I didn't get it because I knew it was a great book, so I'm really excited. Oh. So I just stretched it, um, and now we have to let it sit for 24 hours. So... <laughs> Yeah. Got up. I fed Enzo a little bit. We did some homeschooling with pre pre K stuff with Astrid. And then now my oldest she is it's an early release day today, so we are at the car pickup pretty early. It's like not even 11 o'clock yet, because that's whenever she gets out. I think I'm gonna crack into this book. I'm excited to read this. It's just so, the art, the art style is so beautiful, which I really like. I need to bake the sourdough bread today, because I'm doing it as an exchange for some eggs and grow lights. Checked on it this morning, it looked like it was doing pretty good, like how sourdough should look. So, I'll probably give it like another three, two to three hours to rise, and then I will shape it and let it proof again one more time. Very still rainy, still very gloomy out. That's okay. It is one o'clock. Kids have been fed. So I'm gonna make myself some bread with my bread machine. And then I also have the sourdough bread that is now ready to be moved on to the next level. Okay, so we're gonna put the flour down, shape the loaf. Let's go. It's not quite 24 hours, but that's okay. 
we're gonna I don't know if this looks right. That is very um, wet. Oh, this is horrible. Definitely something went wrong. How much done for? Oh yeah. Okay. gonna check on the bread oh it's getting big wow 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 i'm not gonna open it but look at how much it's risen it's got about an hour left celebrate a friend's birthday after my sourdough attempt yesterday i just kind of shut down <laughs> um after i baked some more of that bread and then since i had my oldest home i had all three kids by myself um which was like a little much so i kind of just like zoned and didn't pick up the camera again but I did these really cool, I'll just quickly, it's not book related, but I designed, printed off, laminated, and then cut out every single one of these things for homeschooling. It's like a little daily board, which like has, these are just all the extras. I have a whiteboard that they go on to. Activities that we're going to do for the day. So this is like a villa, um, we have like a visual timeline of what we're going to be doing. The days of the month how we're feeling the day, how she's feeling during the day, what the weather's like, the months, days of the week, the season, and then I also have them, the days of the week in Spanish. I have this board, so we'll switch them out. Here's this, we'll have other stuff set up there. I thought that was really cute, so I just kind of zoned out and did that. That was a lot. I did get another bookshelf. And I don't have a ton of stuff on it right now. It's just got like the library books and a few other books that I had. But look, I got the other bookshelf now. And so that thing is in the middle. And I give you a fit check because I kind of like my outfits. Uh, where we're bowling, they have black lights. So I wanted to wear this shirt. Um, it's got like neons. Pants. And I'm going to put on my docks. And yeah. like one of those things whenever you haven't talked to one of your friends for a while in person or with through voice you know anxiety but like i have no reason to be nervous you know i'm nervous because we haven't like played together in a while like maybe like what if we like don't mesh as well as we used to but it's always like we jump back into it as if we have never stopped and those kinds of friendships are really valuable we're gonna be playing this game called unsolved cases it is an indie game basically it's co-op game where you try and solve these mysteries it just seems like a really fun game it was free 
up against the cryptic killer. For the first time in the series, you'll encounter a labyrinth of puzzles and challenges laid by one of the most devious minds in the world. Soft puzzles, crack codes, and find a way out. I don't know, I saw this game on TikTok, so I thought it would be a fun play. Just chill. Yeah. end today's vlog well this week's vlog it's been a few days um i you know motherhood and life got crazy um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i hope that you guys enjoyed it it was more of like a bookish vlog not a reading vlog really um because it was bookish adjacent you know what i mean if you want to connect with me anywhere else i do have tiktok and instagram and bookstagram yeah hope that you have a beautiful day and of course you're excellent bye